Hey you guys, Matt and Cece here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are back out on Lake Michigan. It's hot. It's one of the only times I can ever remember being on the Great Lakes and it's hot. The fish are up on flats. They're up getting cover anywhere they can find shade. Pre-spawn going into the spawn. Both stages are happening right now. So we're throwing a drop shot a Senko, a dark sleeper, a swim bait, anything we can do to catch these fish, come along, let's go fishing. So guys, this water is so clear. We're sitting in seven or eight foot on a sand flat. You can see these fish 50 to 100 feet away and you lead them by 20 or 30 feet and they either spook or swim that far just to get to your bait. So I threw this, this is a drop shot. It's that big bite smallie smasher. Way out ahead of this fish, he came over, I popped it once. He came maybe 20 feet, popped it again. He came charging in and ate it. It's a really nice fish. Hopefully he gives up eventually. Honey, can you net this one? Yep. There's another big one out there. He is angry. He's a pretty fish. See that spot? Yeah, I love when they have that. Wow, it's a big one. Boy, he's not as big as he was strong, but he's a great fish. Awesome. On the drop shot. Look at the spot he's got here. What a great fish to get us started. Let's catch some more. So guys, we've been working across this flat and it's been tough. I mean, we're seeing fish, they're seeing us. We're giving them 20, 30, 40, 50 feet of lead and they're spooking. But I just got to this first dock and I can see fish up underneath it. The water's crystal clear. You can see 25 plus feet deep. So I can see their tails silhouetted because the other side of the dock is lit behind the dock. I can see their tails silhouetted. I just tied on a Senko I'm gonna shoot some casts under here. This should work. Oh, there's a big one coming out following this one. Oh, it's a great big one. Come here, buddy, and you go back under. This is like clockwork. It's the first dock next to that flat. Of course they're going to be up here in this shade. Maybe we can get a few of these fish. We'll see. Fish an ultra light line. Braid, it's eight pound braid a six pound fluoro and a little tiny hook to try and fool them in this clear water. Oh, he came off. Nice little two and three quarter, maybe three and a quarter pounder. Let's get back in there after that big one. Jumps, I can see her. Oh, there's a little one too. I don't know which one I got. I 
got the little ones. Brutal. These docks are all floating, so you set the hook and the fish just start shooting across. I'm sticking that rod down in the water so I don't get cut off on the bottoms of the dock or on the prop of the boat that's tied up here. That's the little tiny one. The one that's under there is big. Such a nice fish though. the big one, but we'll take him. This is what makes smallmouth so fun. It's a light line and they love to school up. Once you find them, it's lights out. Anytime you're around these fish, especially out on the big lakes, and you're not catching them, keep moving because you know this is out there somewhere. Hey, give it up. It's amazing how one dock will have so many fish and then the other ones are terrible. This looks like the better dock, and they're not here. Oh, there is one. There's a big one. You got me under. You got me. I'm, I'm in the muscles. Hold on, baby. Hold on. You got me in the muscles. Oh, you got the big one. There we go. Come on out. Come on out. Come out. Yeah, I'll take a net, please. Let mommy do it. Stay there, honey. Step back. I need to be able to see. He's under the boat. He's a nice fish. Oh, he's huge. Sit down, Sierra. He's going to go down for a while. All right. Sit Here down, he baby. Here he comes. Good job. <laughs> wow, look at that. Five pounder for sure, maybe more. That is why we come up and fish the big water. Starts out slow, build a pattern, catch beautiful fish. Awesome. Hooked right in the top. Wow. Five inch Senko. Sierra wants to see him. You want to see him? Big one, huh? Do you want to touch him? Um, yeah. He's a nice fish. He is a nice one. Okay, yeah. honey, we're going to let him go home. Tell him bye. Bye. Tell him thank you. Thank you, but don't let him go yet. I'm see your friend go out. You can touch him one <laughs> time and I'm putting him back. Okay, he's going to go home, okay, baby. Okay, here he goes. That was a big one. That was so cute.
got one. That is a fun pattern. Throwing those Senkos up to that shade and letting them drop. Nice. Jumped right wow. there. Good he came job. straight to you. Nice fish. Oh yeah. All right. I'm back in the video. <laughs> you know what it's like to be a mom on the boat. Think you're coming out for a day of fishing, but you're really just on snack duty. This is a nice one. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Awesome job. That is cool. I love that fish. I threw three different worms at this fish. It ended up eating that missile baits worm right here. Right there. First cast. One. Ate that dark sleeper. CC was up under the dock on a big one. We could see. I'm just fan casting the flat. Nice fish. Another nice fish on the dark sleeper. fish was so far away. I, I cannot believe that I was able to hook him. Nice fish too. 
I'm using a really fun combo. I'm fishing straight flora, which as you guys know, is not something I normally do. But when I smallmouth fish, especially on the Great Lakes, if I've got incredible visibility like we do today, I like that straight fluoro. So I'm fishing 12 pound fluoro. My rod though is pretty light, 7.2 medium light plus. So really soft tip, then I get to some backbone. I really like this combo for the dark sleeper. We're both throwing half ounce sleepers. You can see this thing is getting chewed to pieces. Nice one. Thank you. Right in the corner. Ooh, but it's in there good. You know, the way I caught that fish was by watching my line. You know, anytime you're throwing a weightless worm, it's really hard to detect the bites. So what I do is just keep my eyes on the line. And if you see anything out of the ordinary, what I mean is your line moves or your line gets tight or sometimes it'll jump, you just set the hook. And a lot of the times that will be, that will be the fish and you don't feel the bite at all. And that's how I caught that one. A nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I finally got smart at the end of the day <laughs> and added an O-ring to that Senko so that I stop losing baits. Should have done that a long time ago. Oh my gosh. Way it feels there, like huh? a good one. Way up in there. It was like. Did you it, eat it on the bottom? Yeah. I was just dealing with my line. So cool.
That was crazy. It just ate that dark sleeper just right on the bottom. When I reeled up all that slack line, there was just a weight there. You want to see my fish? I see it. Look, babe. I saw it. That was cool. All right, guys, with that, I think we will wrap it up. It was an awesome day. Crazy conditions. 85 degrees on the water at the height of today. That just does not happen up here on the big water. So those fish with no sun, high temps, those fish did everything you would think they would do. They locked down. We were having to lead them out on those flats and ultimately found them tucked up under docks right where they should be. But once we got that ripple on the water, things get different instantly. Those fish get more active, they get more aggressive. We were able to switch over to a dark sleeper, catch some fish on that, and then still blind catch some fish as well. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed coming along. We'll link all the gear that we were using down in the video description, just like every video. But uh, again, it was a great time. We love coming up fishing the Great Lakes. Lake Michigan is an incredible fishery, crystal clear water, and just a really neat environment both on and off the water. If you haven't tried it, you should come up and fish this area at some point in your life. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.